So today's video, I asked my man Corey Parsons to share on how to not lose your results when you're traveling. So Corey recently joined my belly burn challenge and he was worried about going away for that one week. And so we needed to develop a game plan so that he could come back and get these crazy results that he did. Quick backstory behind Corey is that he used to be a client of mine many moons ago, over a decade, and at that point, he was trying to add muscle because he was a skinny little twig. And so he wanted to put on some muscle, put on some size. Fast forward to a decade later, and he needed to drop all the weight, all the size that he gained from life and being a dad. And so that's why I thought his video would help you for when you travel so that you can keep the weight off, keep the fat down, and still build muscle. Have a look. What's up, Fit Fam? Coach RJ challenged me to give you a list of that can help you when you are in a belly burn and have to travel. So without further ado, let's get started. Talk to your coach, plan, plan your trip. How many days are you gone for? And uh, let your coach know so that they can create a strategy for you of workouts and nutrition plan while you're away. Two, manage your time hey we have the same 24 hours so we all have busy agendas but you can make that time and include the 30 minutes to work out in your day you'll feel better and you'll look better trust me three have daily workout options you can do weighted exercises if your hotel has a gym your coach will help you put together some exercises in that case or you can do body weight exercises in your hotel room or you could do some aerobic exercises. Again, talk to your coach. Another one could be, you have to, if you have time, do the replays. Hey, the admin team works hard to uh, create us temporary passwords so that we can log in and select the replay of our choice. Just select one and go to work. Know your nutrition requirements and your limitations. We might not always be in control of what food we have to take in, and we might not always be in control of being able to cook what we want, uh, but you do have options by looking around and seeing what are, what's available to you and just do the best you can. And your coach and your team will help you uh, if you have any concerns. Pack essentials for supplements. You might not be able to carry that big bucket of protein, um, but you might be able to carry other supplements that will be essential for your uh, nutritional requirements. Again, talk to your coach. And lastly, communicate your needs and your concerns to your team. We are here for you. We are here to support you. We are a fit family. Uh, you're not an on the island by yourself. Reach out, please, and talk to your team because they are there to give you support. After all, we are in this together. So those are my top tips. I'm out. Peace. All right, so here's some of my tips. Number one is that you need to work your ass off before you go on this trip to create a massive caloric deficit because you don't know what equipment or time you're gonna have available while you're on this trip. You need to do a peak week eating plan prior. So not only are we gonna burn a bunch of calories, but we're gonna give you the right calories to make sure that you're peaked and in a deficit so that when you go there, you can actually enjoy the trip. You should enjoy and taste everything, but never stuff yourself and definitely don't overeat to the point where you feel like puking. Use the gym. Most hotels, most resorts have the gym. It just baffles me when people don't use it. Just get in there. 15 minutes is all you need. Or you can pop on a virtual. They're available on your phone. So if they have Wi-Fi or you already have internet access because you need access to your phone, just log into www.fitclub.fit slash on demand. The password is in the group. And then last but not least is that you need to relax but try and move as much as possible. So if you're at a work conference, then use the breaks to walk the halls, okay? Get your people that you're involved with to move with you. Go for coffee, but go for a far distance for coffee. Try and never sit. Try to take long hikes on your nights off. Get an hour in, explore the city. Or you can have a nice romantic walk on the beach with your spouse if 
you're on a fun trip. So remember, with a bit of planning and commitment, you can maintain your fitness goals while enjoying your travels. So pack your workout gear, communicate with your coach, and make the most of your fitness journey. Do whatever it takes. Now, if you're looking to tighten and tone the upper body on vacay, try this five minute at home workout. I put the link in the description. It's called the Fit Club Five Minute Toned Arms.